Okay, I, as you see, uh, my uh, presentation title is Tracking the Judaization Process in Jerusalem. Yeah, here are the contents of my um, presentation. Actually, I have published a paper on Judaization uh, in uh, Jerusalem under the Israeli occupation. But while I was doing this research, I found out, especially in the historical um, background, this part, I found out that prior to Israeli um, occupation, there were already um, measurements of Judaization uh, represented in Jerusalem. So I thought that it's, it will be interesting to um, uh, summarize it in such a presentation. So uh, I will start with uh, tracking the beginnings of uh, Jewish uh, presence in Jerusalem, then uh, focusing on Judaization of Jerusalem in the modern era, then the Judaization process after the Israeli occupation, and try to drive a conclusion. So as you all know that uh, Jerusalem is considered a um, holy city according to uh, the Abrahamic uh, faith, uh, Islam, uh, Christianity, and uh, Judaism. Um, so um, uh, it faced a Christian rule, a Jewish rule, and a Muslim rule. And all of those rulers tried to, um, to impose their culture and their religion. So we have a process of Judaization, Christianization, and Islamization. Uh, applied to uh, this city uh, in different periods of uh, history. So Judaization, like other, uh, like Islamization and Christianization, is a term that refers to the process in which religious conversion of societies takes place, changing the religions of uh, people or the cultural and the demographic elements of cities and countries accordingly. So in this research, uh, I used this term, Judaization, uh, to express the meaning of applying measures to impose the Jewish identity to be the dominant in uh, Jerusalem, changing its demographic uh, um, situation uh, and cultural uh, structure to appear uh, as Jewish as uh, possible. Uh, the first part, the tracking the beginnings of Jewish presence in Jerusalem throughout history. I remove this. So it was uh, Jerusalem was the capital of uh, the kingdom of Judah uh, centuries before Christ, and Jerusalem was subjected to foreign rule uh, for different periods which um, brought Persian, Hellenistic, um, Hellenistic and um, Roman culture elements to the city in the old ages before Christ. Uh, the Hebrew Bible states the construction of the first temple worshiping God according to the Jewish faith in um, Jerusalem during the reign of, kingdom, uh, of King uh, Sol Solomon in the 10th century uh, before the Common Era. That temple was destroyed and rebuilt to be destroyed again. At the present, it uh, remain the remnant of the temples can be seen in what's called the Wailing Wall, which is one of the holiest places for uh, the Jewish uh, pilgrimage. And then during the Roman period, Jews faced the persecution, including uh, being banned from entering Jerusalem by the decree of the Roman emperor Hardian, uh, Hard, uh, Hadrian, expulsing Jews from uh, Jerusalem. Thus, the Jewish presence disappeared in Jerusalem for long period under this um, persecution policies adopted by the Romans. Then we have um, another change in the uh, Roman policy as the, uh, under the reign of the, the Roman emperor Constantine, um, in the fourth century, uh, he adopted Christianity and imposed it to uh, the, um, all the kingdom, the Roman kingdom. So Jerusalem faced Christianization, changing it 
um, uh, from a, being a pagan city uh, to uh, appear um, Christian. And uh, still we have um, disappear, uh, disappearing of the, the, the Jewish presence during this uh, Christian period. Then in the 7th century, uh, with the Arab conquest uh, to um, this city, uh, the Arab welcomed again the Jewish uh, presence. And uh, so again the Jewish presence wa was renewed since then. Uh, and in the middle, uh, in the medieval ages, we can see some Islamization against also uh, some uh, Christianization period under the Arab um, uh, rule and under the uh, Crusade. So uh, to the, uh, moving to the uh, second uh, part, the Judaization of Jerusalem in the modern era. Uh, by the time of the last Muslim rule, uh, the Ottoman, the Ottoman um, Empire, we, um, uh, on the Ottoman census, it showed a Jewish uh, population as a minority, as 10%. So they already, from the beginning of the Arab conquest, they were invited to come to return back to Jerusalem, and gradually they uh, cons uh, consisted 10% uh, of the uh, population of Jerusalem. Uh, then in the 19th century, the Jewish presence was intensified through the increasing immigration from Europe. Uh, so we can see that the immigration is, was the first measure um, of Judaization used by the uh, Jews uh, to increase their uh, presence in um, Jerusalem and to change its uh, demographic structure uh, into gradually into a majority of uh, Jews. Uh, so in the 19th century, uh, especially after, uh, under the, um, pre uh, the British occupation, uh, the, those uh, Judaization um, measures were confirmed and um, thanks to the uh, support of European consulates established in Jerusalem starting with the British consulate in 1838 um, the uh, Jews uh, obtained the right of buying lands in Jerusalem through uh, a royal decree of 1849 um, uh, Thus, the Jewish presence uh, penetrated Jerusalem through purchasing lands and other activities controlling the facilities and uh, economic life of the city. Uh, so all of this can be uh, uh, listed under the title of Judaization. Uh, then we see um, the appointment of Her Herbert Samuel who was the first High Commissioner of uh, Palestine. Uh, he um, was um, a pro-Zionist figure, so his uh, policy uh, was uh, so clear in Judaization uh, in um, the city. Uh, so uh, he served as the representative of the British government in Palestine from 1920 to 1925, and for the, those five years, the Judaization effort was so obvious. Um, and um, by the end, he also helped, he supported the Balfour Declaration, promising the establishment of the Jewish uh, state in uh, Palestine. 
Uh, his policy supported the uh, Judaization of Jerusalem through many measures, including facilitating the Jewish immigration, the uh, Jewish acquisition of lands, and other legalization for Jews uh, settlement, including granting many of them citizenship in uh, Palestine and uh, issuing laws uh, facilitating the acquirement of that citizenship for Jews. Um, and then, predictably, we can see that the Judaization under the Israeli occupation will be more uh, intensified. Um, uh, so, uh, starting uh, from 1948, by the establishment of Israel, and after the war, um, uh, the conflict against Arab, uh, the uh, Jerusalem, the West, part was all under the uh, Israeli occupation. So Israel started with uh, Judaizing this part, uh, which um, was seen in many measurements. In this map, you can see that uh, the western part of, uh, of uh, Jerusalem was uh, all under the Israeli uh, occupation since 1948. And the Esther eastern part was under the Jordanian uh, authority. So we can see the intensive Judaization measurements in many examples, starting with evacuating uh, West Jerusalem of uh, the non-Jewish uh, population uh, through the violent expulsion of Arabs due to the war status resulted in the change of the demographic stru uh, structure of West uh, Jerusalem to be dominant by Jews. The settlement of, um, and uh, after they evacu uh, evacuated uh, Jerusalem of uh, those Arab, in instead they were replaced by the Jewish uh, immigrants and uh, Jewish uh, Israeli officials. Uh, and also some legalization where to confirm this uh, by issuing laws uh, in which um, can help this uh, settlement of uh, the uh, Jewish immig uh, immigrants. Uh, so um, among those laws, uh, the vivid example can be seen in the uh, laws of uh, absentees property um, issued on um, 1950, providing that the properties of the Palestinians who left Jerusalem in 1948 were transferred to the state of Israel. Uh, then uh, they continued uh, encouraging the uh, Jewish immigration and facilitating the acquirement of the uh, Israeli uh, citizenship. Uh, so, um, the Israeli nationality law issued in 1952 granted Jews from anywhere of uh, the world to uh, have the um, Israeli citizen, uh, citizenship uh, based on the notion of historical residence, giving them the right to return to their Jewish homeland while uh, the, it was denied for uh, Palestinians the same right. Also, another measurement was uh, the Hebraization, uh, changing all the Arab names to uh, Hebrew names. Uh, this, for this, uh, they um, uh, they uh, organized a committee uh, to uh, implement this uh, mission, and uh, by 1953, already 560 names. Uh, of Palestinian sites were Judaized with Hebrew names instead of their Arabic names. So, um, after 1967, uh, now um, the East Jerusalem also were under the uh, Israeli occupation um, as a result of the um, uh, June 1967 war. Uh, so, um, tra tracing also the Judaization uh, measurements in the eastern part of Jerusalem, we will find that similarly to what happened to the western part, 
similar policies uh, were applied to the eastern part with evacuating it, evicting people, uh, dem demolishing uh, their buildings. Um, uh, actually, till now, till the present, if you follow the uh, news, um, uh, maybe last month it was uh, some uh, news about uh, Sheikh Jarrah, um, uh, this neighborhood, Arab neighborhood, that was also still facing uh, this uh, demolishing um, of their uh, Arab uh, buildings. Uh, so, in this part, I uh, I introduced uh, the some um, measurements taken uh, in the eastern part of uh, uh, Jerusalem, um, applying this uh, Judaization. So among them, we can see also that uh, that using urbanization plans also was uh, a Judaization tool. Um, uh, as uh, through the, those uh, Arabization plans, uh, the target of um, uh, changing the structure, the demographical structure of the city was obvious that they uh, declared it uh, frankly that they want to uh, change the uh, demographic uh, structure to be uh, dominant by the majority, the Jewish majority. Uh, their, um, um, their target was to uh, have 70% Jewish, uh, Jews against 30% uh, of Arab, but actually um, seeing the results of those uh, urban urbanization plans, we will find that at the present they couldn't, um, uh, they couldn't achieve this uh, target. Um, they achieved uh, like 60 to 30, but they couldn't, um, uh, they couldn't achieve the 70, 30 uh, percent uh, target. So um, also uh, building barriers separating the Arab neighborhood was the one of the uh, measurements that helped or facilitated Judaizi Judaizing the city uh, as the uh, construction of those barriers included the destruction of lands and the uprooting of trees be uh, belonging to the Arab Palestinians. The uh, impact of uh, building those barriers include the difficulties for Palestinians in accessing educational and medical services on the other side of those barriers. So the separation barriers um, covering an area of about 202 uh, kilometers sealed of Jerusalem completely from the West Bank and this isolation of our East uh, Jerusalem was achieved by setting the root of the barrier so that to match the uh, municipal boundaries of Jerusalem drawn by Israel in, in 1967, uh, so that to um, enable the expansion of the city on lands with more Jews and less uh, Arab. Uh, also, many measurements were taken um, against non-Jewish uh, holy sites. Uh, the vivid example can be seen in the al Aska Mosque, uh, which uh, faced uh, many ex uh, excavation work under its uh, foundation, which uh, threatened its foundation. Uh, and already some cracks happened to the, its uh, construction. And since 2004, archaeological ex um, excavation proceeded for most of that um, of um, the uh, under the, the foundation of the mosque, um, and uh, the, so that the Arab neighborhood even uh, were um, afraid of the collapse of their homes. Um, and actually, not only. Uh, those excavation works. Also, the mosque were um, subjected to many attacks by Israeli officials and uh, Jewish extremist, uh, extremists, uh, including several massacres against Muslims praying in the mosque. 
uh, not only Muslims face this um, harassment by the Israeli uh, 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 by the Israeli extremists. Also, the Christians also faced the same. Uh, in this context, we can mention the, um, that there is a plan announced by the Israeli authorities for constructing a national park on Christian holy sit, uh, sites uh, located in the mountain of Olives, which led to churches' uh, protests resulting in suspending this project at the present. Also, many uh, Christian uh, Palestinians, like other Palestinian Jerusalemites, uh, lost their souls, freedom, and homes defending their lands. And the Israeli oppression against them includes restrictions on the number of worshippers uh, permitted for attending religious celebrations in their churches, which also um, is facing several attacks by Jewish extremists. Um, and the decline of the Christian minority in um, Jerusalem is clear, uh, can be seen as a result of those measurements. Um, also, we have uh, about 300 Jewish settlers, uh, mostly hardliners, extremists, are living in the Christian quarter, uh, causing daily clashes with those uh, Christians uh, in their lands. Uh, another um, another field of uh, Judaization can be seen in the education, um, as uh, Jewish ideas penetrate to uh, prove the Jewish identity of uh, Jerusalem through the education system controlled by the Israeli authority. In this context, the Israeli authority imposed certain educational curriculums on the uh, Palestinian schools. Uh, since uh, 1968 and um, uh, we can see uh, that um, for example they replace they insist to replace the word Palestine with Israel um, and the word uh, the Arabic name of Jerusalem they uh, omitted and uh, replace it with um, uh, the Jewish name uh, Orshalim and other uh, things uh, to um, uh, to um, prove their or to confirm the uh, Jewish identity of Jerusalem in the historical or geographical uh, curriculum of the uh, schools. Uh, the same like in the Western uh, Jerusalem, her prizing and hebraization of uh, names and places also took place in. Uh, the eastern part. Uh, so by 2015, um, more 30 names of um, uh, streets in the East uh, Jerusalem were changed to Hebrew. Uh, so analyzing all of those uh, measurements, we can see uh, some impacts. Um, so, so through this uh, chart, we can see the impacts of the Judaization process on the uh, development of the demographical scene in the city. So as you see, in 1980, the Arabs were 26% against 74% of Jews. And um, the, uh, the, num the ratio uh, continued to be similar, but uh, as you can see that Arabs are still also increasing. So, uh, despite all this measurement, uh, the Arabs are resisting, uh, increasing, um, uh, like two, 2020, they uh, were 39% against 61% of Jews. And they, this um, can be seen uh, as a um, uh, result of the hi higher fertility of the Arab population, but um, uh, it seems that Israel um, knows this and um, encourages the, uh, the immigration of other cities of uh, Israel to Jerusalem, especially for those uh, extremist um, uh, uh, Jews who also actually have a high uh, fertility. So to that, so that they can overcome the uh, the Arab 
population number. Another chart uh, shows the uh, the development of demolished houses and evicted people. The number, uh, as you see, is uh, continuous till 2021. Still, we have a big number of um, uh, people, Arab people, that are evicted from their houses, and still Israel continue uh, demolishing houses. The, um, uh, the highest number of demolishing houses actually was 2019, so it was recently. Um, and uh, the highest uh, number of evicting people was in 2013. Uh, the, st uh, the statistics showed that about 916 houses demolished by Israeli authorities in the period from 2004 till 2022. So, and still uh, they continue this policy. So this shows the persistence of Israel in uh, its uh, ap ap applying for the Judaization uh, measurements. Uh, for the uh, educational sector, uh, as I explained about uh, Judaization, the curriculum, the educational curriculum, uh, so the impact of this is the increase of the Israeli schools or the schools with Israeli uh, curriculum uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, in 2022, the Israeli news reported the official declaration of the Israeli Ministry of the Jerusalem and Heritage stating that 51% of the official schools in East Jerusalem are currently teaching the Israeli curriculum with an increase of 34% over the last four years. So this also show um, persistence of Israel in this field. Um, but hopefully uh, the Palestinians are also resisting. Uh, so there are still 141 schools uh, out of the total number of 238 schools of Jerusalem uh, they persist to the Arab uh, Palestinian curriculum yeah actually I almost done and uh, this is the conclusion yeah we can see see that um, tracking the Judaization process in Jerusalem uh, since the return of Jews because we have a long uh, period of uh, the disappear of Jews uh, in uh, Jerusalem uh, since the Roman uh, rule uh, and uh, the Christianization of Jerusalem uh, they were not welcomed the uh, Jews to enter uh, Jerusalem. So since the Muslim uh, conquest of Jerusalem, they started to uh, return. And uh, we can uh, track the Judaization uh, measurements since then, because gradually the migration, the immigration of Jews to uh, Jerusalem it took place, and then uh, buying the, purchasing the lands, and then uh, other um, uh, Judaization measurements were uh, affirmed under the British rule, which gave them uh, the um, uh, citizenship, uh, which was also uh, confirmed uh, under uh, or intensified under the uh, Israeli occupation uh, later. So this is the end of my presentation. <laughs>